Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at a custom Windows 10 install and it says that it can actually increase our FPS in games. This is something that I've never heard of before and I'm really interested to seeing this because there's actually like different versions of this so I'm wondering if it can actually increase our FPS. So let's get started. Okay, so we are currently on the site right now. We're actually on Atlas OS which is the version we're going to use. The only reason I'm using this one is because this is the one I saw so yeah, that's why we're going to be using this. But yeah, as you guys can see, it says need more FPS, the fastest Windows version for gamers and that's something that I've never heard before. I didn't actually think about like having a custom Windows version that can actually like increase your FPS and like, I don't know, it's pretty interesting. But as you guys can see, it says a game with high frame rates with no loss to input or system latency, Atlas designed for casual gamers and for the esports industry. If we actually scroll down here, it says a why Atlas OS, apparently it reduces your processes adds more storage and it's more memory efficient and it also has pro privacy so pretty interesting things here reduces stress uh small install size that's pretty interesting i wonder what they remove to get it smaller but we'll have to see uh, memory efficient so it minimizes memory hogging processes disabling useless services and pro privacy it doesn't want you windows fine okay so we'll see how that is looking at the statistics it's four times smaller iso size so that's pretty crazy it has a 500 plus component strip 32,000 downloads, so it's actually not too big. Um, 32,000 might seem like a lot, but for a Windows install, that's actually not too crazy. And it's completely open source, so yeah, if you guys can actually check out that if you want. But yeah, let's just download it here. It seems like there's not too much info on it, but let's click on the download button here, and we're gonna download this newer version. I think there is an older version, which is like an older version of Windows. I'm guessing if you have like lower end specs. Um, but yeah, let's install this right now, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so we're back, and I actually installed it here on this SanDisk USB. Um, it's pretty simple. You just download the ISO and use something like Rufus to install it into your USB. You're gonna need something bigger than 16 gigabytes, so just keep that in mind. All right, so before we install it onto the PC, let's take a look at what some of the like FPS of gaming would be on right now on this PC, because I'm curious if we're gonna be able to see a difference when installing Atlas OS. So PC I'm on right now is actually the PC from last video, which is kind of like my brother's PC, but it's like we actually have another one. So it has an i5-3450, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it has no GPU. It just has the iGPU, which is like the Intel HD Graphics 2. 500 I think something like that um, it's nothing powerful it's like 10 years old now so we're gonna be seeing uh, if Atlas OS can actually help out the performance so the games we're gonna be benchmarking is a GTA 5 Valorant and Minecraft so they are all low-end games um, but yeah for a system like this these games are perfect for this so we're going to open up our first game uh, which I guess will be GTA 5 might as well okay so at 720p and normal settings we are getting about uh, 14 to yeah 14 fps is looking like um we're just running the gta 5 benchmark and yeah it's not looking too great um considering that we are at 20, 720p and normal settings the lowest settings that you can get in this game um but yeah we'll let it run for a little while see kind of going through some scenes here like in this scene we're getting the hires or we got 20 fps there um but yeah obviously you guys can see that it's not that great um that's pretty expected uh, since it's such an old iGPU, it's not a dedicated graphics card. I'm really curious to see if Atlas OS can actually like improve the performance because this is not really good right now, but like, I don't know what, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty crazy. Okay, so while it's moving here, we're actually at like 20 FPS right now, which is surprising. Uh, just at the airplane one here on GTA 5. Um, we're getting upwards of 20 high, not high 20s, I wouldn't say that, but um, yeah, the FPS is a little bit higher, just kind of going around here, driving around the city. We are at 18, 16 FPS, it's kind of fluctuating here. Um, yeah, we're getting shot at. Uh, yeah, not the greatest experience, especially that we are at 720p and the lowest settings, but pretty expected for an iGPU that's this old. Um, wasn't really expecting anything better, so I'm really interested to see if Atlas OS can actually like improve the performance. Uh, it's gonna be really um, interesting to see here. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it's kind of looking like right now. We're going to be at like the 10 to 20 FPS range. So that's where we're at right now. Let's move on to Valorant and see what it is there. Okay, so here on Valorant at 720p at the lowest settings, we are getting around uh, 30 to 40. Oh, we're kind of getting higher. It depends on the area we're in, but I'm really seeing 20 to 30 FPS here. So yeah, something around that are, are actually we're getting pretty high, maybe 30 to 40. That's more accurate. Um, but yeah, we're just in a little spike rush here. Uh, not really good at this Valorant, especially at this low FPS. Yeah, it kind of fluctuates a lot, um, which is to be expected. I mean, even for a game like this, this game can run on a toaster, which is kind of proven right now. I mean, it's not the smoothest thing, but 
Okay, they are on, they are on that side. Let's uh, go over there. Hey, hey, we actually went around. Let's go. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see, we're running kind of from 20 to 50 FPS. It honestly depends on what's happening on the screen. Um, but yeah, this isn't the greatest Valorant experience. Uh, let's move on to Minecraft and see what it's like there. Okay, so we have Minecraft open here. We are in a survival world on the latest version and Right now we're at like 80 FPS, which is pretty surprising. 90 FPS, can we hit 100? That'd actually be pretty crazy. But yeah, as you guys can see, the render distance is not good. Um, the graphics does not look very good, but I mean, 80 FPS on this PC, that's pretty good, man. I mean, I don't know if you can even get better than this, but we don't even have like Optifine installed. So obviously it doesn't look good, but I mean, if you're looking to just play with your friends, like this is this is perfectly playable. But yeah, I'm actually really excited to install Alice OS. I really want to see if we can actually improve the gaming performance. I feel like I'm getting way too ahead of myself right now. I feel like maybe it's just not going to do as much as I think it will. But yeah, I'm just going to give it a chance, see how it goes. So what we're going to do right now is probably install it. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but it did say it did say it is four times smaller than the original ISO for Windows. So I'm expecting it to take a lot uh, faster than the original install. Um, but yeah, let's go do that right now. Let's close this down and install Atlas OS. Okay guys, so Atlas OS is currently installing. So I'll bring you guys back when it's fully done. All right guys, so Atlas OS now finished and we are on the desktop here. And I mean, it's a Windows 10 install. We have the Atlas OS logo here. Um, let's check the apps first before we get into anything. Um, yeah, looking pretty bare minimum. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see. Uh, we literally have almost no apps, which is pretty good. I mean, okay, so we do have an Atlas folder here. So let's see what this is about. Um, install software, install drivers. Oh, okay. So it l basically lets you install everything from this folder. I mean, that's pretty cool. Install software. What can we install? Install browser. Okay. So, uh, oh, you can, so you can download anything. You, you can download Firefox, Brave, Google Chrome, we'll just get Chrome. Okay, so Chrome is now installed. Let's pin that to the taskbar and yep, okay. All right, so Chrome is now installed. We do have a browser now uh, because I still have to actually install all of the launchers. So I have to get Epic Games launcher, Riot launcher, uh, the Minecraft launcher since this is a fresh install. So do all the benchmarks. Um, let's do everything here though. Let's install the iGPU. Um, kind of uh, graphics again, sorry. Optional tweaks. So apparently this is already tweaked, so you don't actually have to really go into anything else, which is really nice, honestly, because sometimes when you like want to optimize your game, you're gonna go through the entire process. So just installing Windows and having it all optimized is pretty nice. Okay, so we have drivers installed. Let's go install the Epic Games Launcher, all the game launchers, and yeah, I'll bring you guys back once again. Okay, so it's the next day because for some reason, Epic Games Launcher does not have like a verified files. So when I reinstalled Atlas OS onto this, I couldn't like low GTA so I actually had to reinstall it uh, but we're here now we're just about to run the benchmark um, but yes we are on the same settings we are at 720p um, normal settings the lowest ones and yeah let's run the benchmark test and see how it goes all right so moment of truth the game is almost in the benchmark it takes quite a while since I did install it on a hard drive but Oh, I'm excited. Let's see if we can get some more FPS with Atlas OS. Okay, so um, looks about the same here. Um, we are getting a little bit higher FPS though. Oh, never mind. Okay, so in these initial scenes, I didn't record this part. I think I recorded later and like the airplane part. I'm not too sure. I don't remember from last night. Uh, but yeah, so we're around the 18, 19 FPS. Um, it definitely is higher. I can say that much. Um, it does drop down to 13 to 14 FPS uh, quite a bit, but mostly it is on the higher night, like 19, 18 FPS range, sometimes hitting 20 or even like 23. So it's fluctuating quite a bit. Let's wait for the airplane scene so we kind of get the most accurate representation. Okay, so we're on the airplane scene here now, and it seems like we're at... Okay, we're in the 20s. Yeah, we're in the 20s. I think it is a little bit higher. 24, 23, I think 30, we even hit 30 there. Yeah, this is definitely higher in this scene here. We're in the higher 20s. Uh, yeah, I, th I I think it's actually doing a little bit better. We're more in the 20 FPS range now. Um, I feel like on this scene, we were a little bit lower. Obviously, it's not gonna have like crazy performance difference because at the end of the day, it is still the same hardware. Okay, so let's move on to another game. Let's move on to Valorant. Okay, so here at 1080p, low settings i mean before i couldn't even run the game at all we were at like 5 to 10 fps but we are in the 30 to 40 range it's really fluctuating though but yeah performance has definitely improved we're actually able to run a lot better at 1080p so if we actually go down to 720p it should be 
way, way better. But let's finish this round first and go down to 720p. Okay, it's, all right, nice. Okay, so let's go down to 720p and see if our performance is a lot smoother. So let's apply it here. Okay, so it is a lot smoother, but our FPS is actually a little bit lower. Um, actually, no, it's about the same. 40, 30, it's kind of the same, but it is a lot smoother than 1080p which is to be expected, obviously. Um, not noticing too big of a performance difference though. So this mouse is terrible and he, he's terrible as well. I can't tell if it's running better or not, to be honest, like it's a lot smoother. Okay, so it's running about the same. I would have to say this is about the same. It feels pretty much, yeah, I'd have to say it feels pretty much the exact same as before okay so concluding this uh basically it's the exact same i would have to say maybe it's the map but i don't think that should be the biggest difference okay so let's move on to minecraft and see how that goes okay so we are in minecraft here let's get the same settings as before okay so we are now in not the same world but we are in the survival world and 74 71 85 um it's about the same I'd have to say 89, 79. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah, all right. So not too much differences in all the games. I mean, I was expecting something, not, not something crazy, okay? Like I wasn't expecting like a 20, even not even like a 30 FPS difference, but I was expecting it to at least go up by like 10 or 15 FPS. Um, and yeah, even like run at a higher kind of, like higher settings even, and be able to like kind of get the same FPS wise, or at least a little bit higher. It doesn't give it like more performance. Like that's significant. I, I think I just had my hopes way too high. Maybe. Maybe it is, oh, okay, well, we had, I was just about to say, maybe it made it really optimized so it's like a lot smoother, but just way too low to even like optimize it to get more performance. Maybe if we had like a 1060 or like, or not even 10, that's way too high. Let's maybe even like a, I don't know, 950 or a 750 Ti, something like that, you would actually see some improvement. Um, well, here we're actually getting 100 FPS, but I think that's just because of the biome we're in. Um, yeah, I'd have to say it's pretty much the same thing. A little bit disappointed, but I mean, Maybe it was to be expected, so. Okay, so there are definitely some things I actually do like about Alice OS. One is the small ISO size. So having such a quick install, that was definitely the fastest Windows install I've ever had. Um, going at like just like six minutes, that's how long it took to um, install Windows onto this PC, which is pretty crazy. Um, six minutes is way shorter than the original Windows update. And two, I love how you're able to get just right into it. You can install your browser from the folder. You can install all your drivers. Just having it all in one place it makes it really simple to install Windows. But yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And make sure you guys do check out my last video on my $200 full gaming setup.